Hello everyone and welcome to another Feed Army video. In this video, we're going to talk about a violation within Google Shopping, which is the no purchase means. I will explain what these can be caused by. The first one is that if you, for example, uh, click on the ad in Google Shopping and you land on the website, and if you have to force the customer to register or to log in before they can see the price or before they can buy the product, then that is a violation. A customer needs to be able to land on the page and buy without any reg registration means. So that's the first issue. If, for example, you have a uh, product landing page where quantity is a requirement, you have to be able to buy the product without changing the value. So in most cases, people will actually default the input value by zero. In that case, if you then click on add to basket, an error will appear or you cannot add it to the basket. So for that reason, that's then also a violation. So what you need to do is default the buy quantity to one. When you then add the product to the basket, it will succeed, of course. So that's the second issue that you might have. The third one is IP blocking or country blocking. So if I, a visitor, I'm, for example, now located in Thailand, if I click on an ad in the UK, then I need to be able to buy that product, even though I'm not located in the UK. The same goes for in Europe. Let's say I'm in France and I'm clicking on your ad, even though you targeted, for example, the UK, you still need to allow that customer to buy that product. Yes, you have to uh, select a target country and show your ads within one country. Unfortunately, Google has a requirement where you as a merchant needs to allow anybody in the world to buy your product. The third, uh, sorry, the fourth one is the checkout SSL. So you might say, oh, I don't need that because I have a payment gateway. However, if you're collecting information on your website, such as the name, the address of the customer, the email address, the telephone and the, the name, then you need to have a secure checkout because that is actually collecting personal information. This means that the checkout needs to be HTTPS instead of HTTP. I recommend you contact your web hosting company to uh, find out how to install that for you. Uh, so a third party gateway is not the solution. Alternatively, do not collect any personal information on your website. However, a little bonus, if you have SSL on your whole website, you do get a little bit of a ranking bonus for SEO. So why not go the extra mile and launch it for the whole of your website? The fifth one is the pop-ups. So if you have a pop-up that says, for example, 10% discount, that uh, is on your website either immediately or after a couple of seconds, then that is a violation. Me as a customer, I need to be able to visit your website without any obstructions. That means that pop-ups that block the uh, information of the product is not allowed. What I recommend instead is to have the pop-up in the top uh, left or bottom corner uh, outside of the landing page view uh, of the product information. So what you're not allowed to do is you're not allowed to block the title, description, the image, the price and the add basket uh, button. Um, so that is the best option. Uh, also watch out for any shading effects that you apply to the whole of the website. If you have the pop-up, uh, you're not allowed to do that because that obstructs the landing page. Uh, the last uh, issue that you might have with this uh, violation or suspension is the checkout procedure that you have. So if I buy a product from you, then you need to allow me to buy without registering or logging. So in other terms, I can guest checkout uh, on your website. Um, so if you do have only a registration or login form uh, to the checkout, then add a guest checkout system so that the customer can buy from your products. Uh, from your website, sorry. Um, so those are the different issues that you might have. Um, so think of it in a way that anybody needs to be able to buy from you without any restrictions. Yes, for certain businesses, this is annoying and does not fit their business model. But if you want to advertise on Google Shopping, you unfortunately have to follow their policies if you want to earn a couple of extra sales. If you need any extra help, do not hesitate and ask me because I do help everybody in uh, Google Shopping related issues, uh, Google Shopping Merchant or Google AdWords. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.